take it back? David's just said take it back? That sounds like it's a song, David. <laughs> Okay, David's going to tell me when to stop. He spotted something. He's a lot higher up than I am, which is really handy. <gasps> okay, I see what you're looking at. Can you see it through that gap? Not yet. Can we go forward? Please, 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 please. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. David, you get a half bar for that? Yes! There they are. Can you believe it? That's exactly what we're looking for. So like I said, David is sitting so much higher up than I am. He's got a much better view than what I do down, down and below. And that's where, if you go on a safari, don't think that you're just in, in the guide and the tracker have to spot everything because you've got the best spot, especially if you're sitting on the back row. You can see everything because the vehicles are all sort of laid and as the, the seats get further and further back, the seats get higher. And I, can, I can't tell you how much of an advantage you have if you've got height on your side. Well, that is the easy part now that we found them. <laughs> David, yes. how on earth are we going to get in there? I think we're going to have to go across to Rebecca's and come in from that side. So what I'm doing now, and you can have a look, is I'm just checking on my map exactly where we are. So you can come and have a look here. No. So you see, we're over there, and the lions are basically between this road, Rebecca's, and over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take a little pin. Let's do it very quickly. I'll show you what I'm going to do. We need to move this to about there. We'll drop a pin. Place mark number nine. The rest all birds nests that I found. And we're going to head across back to Rebecca's and see if we can find those lions. Now I'm going to send you off to Brent because I